Honestly, I wasn't planning to cover another iPad keyboard case, but this one has a little je ne sais quoi about it. Yes, it's a keyboard case, but it's also a full docking station with HDMI, SSD expansion, SD card reader, and PD pass-through charging. This is the Chisona Armor Dock Pro. And if nothing else, it proves that someone out there is actually listening to feedback. You see, a while back, I told Chisona that I wasn't interested in reviewing yet another keyboard, unless they made one with those built-in ports. Basically, a keyboard that replaced a USB-C hub. And to their credit, they listened. Hey friends, Mark from the Spark here. Thanks for tapping play. Now, when Chisoda emailed me about the Armour Dock Pro and asked if I'd like to be the first to try it before they launched on Kickstarter, I thought, all right then, let's see what you've actually done with what I suggested. And so they sent over this early T0 prototype for the iPad Pro 13 inch M4. And I've been using it for the past couple of weeks. I also assume that this would work for the most recent M5 iPad Pro 2. As we go through this review, it's important to note that this is an early sample. So there are a few things that need to be tweaked before the final release. On saying that, what are my first impressions? Well, it's built like it means business. The clue is in the name, Armour Dock. Chisona's used a mix of hard PC and ABS plastics with TPU edges. And what that means in English is that it's got a solid body with soft enough corners. It's sturdy, but it's not brick heavy. Now, it does need pointing out there is a little wobble with the lid in this prototype, but the company have said that will definitely be fixed for the retail version. So I'm gonna hold them to that. The keyboard feels reassuringly familiar. Scissor switch keys with 1.3 millimeters of travel. Now that might not be quite as snappy as Apple's Magic Keyboard, but it's close. The hinge opens up to around 125 degrees, which is pretty much the sweet spot. It'll hold at other angles too, but just like the Magic Keyboard, you'll probably always open this up fully. Chisona have assured me that they're making other language versions too, because I'm sorry, that at symbol belongs above the number two and the quotation marks need to be down near the return key. My typing muscle memory just can't cope. This thing has backlit keys and you can actually change the color unlike the Magic Keyboard. The trackpad, although smaller than the Magic Keyboard, does still seem quite responsive and all the finger swipes work the way they should. The only negative I'd say about this prototype is it'd be good if it clicked all the way around and not just near the bottom. But again, Chisona have suggested they're gonna look into that before the final release. So that's the keys of the keyboard out of the way. So far, so normal for most third party options. But now things get really interesting. On the sides, you've got a HDMI port that supports up to 4K at 60 Hertz for plugging in to an external monitor, a USB-C port for data and PD pass-through charging, and an SD card reader. It's even got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for wired audio. Now, if all that wasn't enough, the sweet, sweet cherry on top is the built-in M.2 SSD slot. You can add your own SSD by unscrewing the small panel on the back of the keyboard case, sliding your SSD in, and that's it. And it will appear in files just like any other external drive. However, and this is quite a big however, a massive problem still with iPadOS, even after the latest update, is that you can't format a new SSD on the iPad itself. It simply won't recognize a brand new drive until it's been formatted elsewhere. So you'll need to find a laptop or a desktop first to get it ready. That's not the keyboard's fault. It's just a very silly limitation in iPadOS. And unfortunately, one that reminds you that despite iPadOS 26, there are still some pointless niggles that simply shouldn't exist. Anyway, once you've done that, you'll find that the Armour Dock Pro supports transfer speeds up to 10 gigabits per second. At least that's what Chisona's documentation suggests. And because the storage is built right into the keyboard, your files will travel with you. No extra cables, no 
dangling drives, no dongles, just one USB connection to the iPad and everything should just work. And because of PD pass-through, the iPad stays powered while everything else runs off it. And that is something you do need to be aware that your SSD and the keyboard takes its power from the iPad. So you are gonna lose power over time when this thing is maybe just sat in your bag. The power will slowly trickle away. Be aware of that. Anyway, after a little while of using this keyboard, I'm genuinely impressed. The hinge wobbles there, sure, but it doesn't affect real use and I think it's fine on a desk. On your lap, well, same story as pretty much every other iPad keyboard. Fine if you sit still, less so if you sneeze. What makes this one stand out is that it feels like an actual workstation. Now, you could argue that if you're adding something like this, then you might as well buy a laptop. And that's fair. But even with iPadOS making the iPad feel more Mac-like than ever, there's still a simplicity around the iPad that keeps you focused on what's in front of you. And sure, that sounds like I'm clutching at straws. Maybe I'm guilty as charged. But the fact that you can simply lift the iPad out of the case or just reach out and scribble directly on the screen still gives it an edge over a MacBook, in my opinion. When the Armor Pro hits Kickstarter, it'll be around $100 $150 cheaper than Apple's Magic Keyboard, which plenty of people buy just for typing. And this adds far more than that. My final thought is that this prototype looks strong. And I don't want to be too negative, even if there may be some little niggles here and there, as I'm pretty sure these are going to get corrected once it goes into mass production. And part of my job as an early tester is to let Chisona know what I'm thinking. If you're watching this after launch, you should find the Kick Booster link in the description. And if you fancy getting your hands on the Armor Pro, using that affiliate link means that you're going to be helping support the channel. If you found this video useful and you're watching on YouTube, hit like, hype, subscribe and share, maybe with someone who still insists an iPad isn't a real computer.